in high school, I met a boy from Afghanistan. His name was Mus. Mus had shared his family's story as a refugee who fled from Afghanistan to Iran, then to Japan. He had shared his family's story in Japan in this way. My mother is afraid of going shopping because she feels eyes following her with curiosity. My sister is teased at school because of what she wears. I hid the fact that I am from Afghanistan and I say that I'm from Iran or Pakistan because I was afraid of being called a terrorist. I saw the personal struggles that Moose had. And I asked this question, what is peace to you? His answer was, there is peace in Japan that is not in Afghanistan. But there is peace in Afghanistan that is not in Japan. After enrolling into university, I saw, I met many kinds of people who have different kinds of struggles. For example, my friend who told me that he's bisexual. My Hafu friends who always feel pressure because they are expected to know English, but in reality they don't. My friends from Africa who are often offended because too much their home countries are described as a place of primitive safaris. Through the dialogue with my friends, I had this idea in my mind that stere being stereotyped, regardless of how much you are influenced by it, being stereotyped takes away people's dignity. So, the message I want to, to deliver today is about building peace by managing our stereotypes. Because I think diversification is not about the minority, how many minority groups we have in our society, our country, but it's about how to accept the differences and how to communicate with each other in our neighborhoods, in our offices, in our classrooms, and in our home. So this is a story about me, and it's about you. So, stereotypes. What are these stereotypes? Stereotypes have this, are generally known to have a negative meaning. But in reality, we can never live without stereotypes or else we will have this cognitive overload. Which means we live in a world where it's full of information and at the same time, our brain has a limit of data processing. So if we keep on having these new informations and keep on processing everything, we won't be able, our brain will function, over function. So, we have these informations and we simplify them and we take it into our brains as memories. That's why we can distinguish the new information and what we already know. Then, we know now that the stereotypes are necessary. How are these stereotypes created? Stereotypes are created socially, culturally, overtly and latently through narratives. For example, I was watching a movie with my parents when I was 14 years old. The name of the movie was Darwin's Nightmare, a movie based in Tanzania. This movie portrayed Tanzania as a place where children are taking drugs for escaping reality, girls becoming prostitutes. After watching this movie, my mother said, oh, I can't believe this. We need to help these children. And my father continued, these children need education. As a 14-year-old, first time to know about Africa, my image towards Africa at that point was Africa equals needing help and education. So stereotypes can be constructed by these simple moments of watching a movie or having these small conversations. So now we know that stereotype is necessary Stereotypes can be consisted without being recognizing, without recognizing them. At the same time, as I said in the beginning, it's important 
to look over stereotypes. Because sometimes simplifying information too much offends people's dignity. So, how can we manage our stereotypes? How can we live with our stereotypes? I think an aha moment is important. Thank you for laughing, I like that. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm serious, but let's, you know, yeah. Anyway, so a personal aha experience for me was when I went to Kenya when I was 18 years old. So I still had this image of Africa being a place needing help and education. But once I went there, I went to the Kibela slum. Then I went to the UN Habitat. UN Habitat is one of the United Nations engines, and they have the headquarters in Nairobi. So we cooked traditional food by cutting wood and getting water from the well. But at the same time, we had food at like McDonald's or KFC and something like some really fast food. And we did run in the fields in the countryside, but we also went clubbing in the capital Nairobi. So after knowing these different dimensions, different sides of Kenya, I was so astonished because it's like the difference we have in Japan, difference of Naha, Sapporo, or Tokyo, or Kyoto. Every city has a different color. And that was also the same in Kenya. So, after recognizing I had a stereotype, after coming back to Japan, I changed how I narrate Kenya. I don't narrate Kenya only a place as poverty, only a place of upcoming economy, but as a place where all of these realities coexist. So, once you go through this process of recognizing your stereotypes, and then changing your attitude towards your stereotypes. And once you know that nothing can be explained in a single story, we can apply how we think to that, to anything. For example, Africa is a place larger than America, China, India, Europe, and Japan, all added together. There is no way we can explain Africa as a single place or in a single story. And this simple reality can be, apply, can be applied to anything. And every person, every person, every one of us in this room has a different story. And every story is worthy of being recognized. So lastly, I would like to present my story Actually, I was waiting for that. あの、<笑><笑> こう<笑> で、例えばどこから来たの大人になっても多分それは変わらないと思います。中学、高校になっても私はこのアイデンティティとは何かっていう問題にずっと向き合ってました。その時にある友達にこの話をしてたんですね。イギリスでも馴染めへん、日本でも馴染めへん。私はど
私はイギリス人としてでもなく日本人としてでもなくエマとしてエマのことが好きよって言ってくれたんですねその人の態度とか本当に気にしてないっていう態度とかその言葉とかその瞬間に私はすごく救われて私の中の平和っていうのを見つけることができたと思います今日皆さんに最後にお伝えしたいのは私たちの周りにどんどんどんどん違う人っていうのがきっとこれからも増えていくと思いますでもその時に一番重要なのはその人が何人だとかゲイだとかそういうその人が何であるかではなく誰であるかっていうところだと思うんですね Every story matters. 一人一人が大事っていうのは要はそういうことなんじゃないかなと私は思います。So please have an aha moment. アハモーメントどんどん自分の周りで作っていてください。Please think about who they are than what they are. 彼らが誰であるかっていうのを一番大事に見てください。And please have a nice day. Thank you very much. <笑>